What's going on my Brood War Brothers? Welcome back to another ladder battle, this time sponsored by Neon Marble Rust. Yes, they are continuing to help me to keep this beautiful game alive. And we will have some more information about that a little bit later. You can also check the description box for that download link. But we've got a little series here, guys. Jadong in the top right-hand corner. Leda, the Wraith Man himself, here in the top left. Can't wait to see some Wraith play coming from Terran. I wonder if we're going to get just a bunch of Wraith games here. I haven't seen the series yet myself. But we're starting out already with an 8 racks in the middle of the map. And what's this? another racks it's a bbs and what is going to be the build here from jadong unfortunately it appears he's gonna start out here with a hatchery first hatchery first against bbs is so so hard guys it's incredibly hard to hold i'm super curious to see what jadong is going to do once he finds out about this we've got this scouting drone heading out and you know what for me, in my ladder games, I always send this drone cross map. Just because the barracks in the middle of the map is so scary. And yeah, I don't want to get caught with my pants down in that regard. I don't want to get caught, you know, running down here. Oh, he's going to check the middle. Look at this. He's coming around the middle. He saw the SCV coming from kind of a weird angle. He comes in to check the middle. There it is. He sees it pretty darn early as well so this is good stuff from j i think you cancel this not gonna cancel wow i am really shocked to see him not cancel that is he gonna cancel the natural instead maybe he cancels the natural because what i've heard and what i've seen is players go ahead and oh he's gonna build a sunken in the main all right i understand what he's doing now some people cancel the gas and pull a whole bunch of drones to try and fight this use the extra minerals uh, from not building the gas to just make extra drones and lings and that kind of thing. But he's going to cancel this. And he's going to make a sunken colony in his main. Oh, and he saves the drone too. That's huge. Now, keeping this drone out on the map is actually pretty big. Just hide it somewhere. Hide it up here or something. So that you can make a hatchery out on the map somewhere. He might make it here. Ooh, not sure I like that. I'd much rather see him take it like somewhere here. Maybe like here even or down in the bottom left would be really smart too. Just so that the Terran player has no idea about that. But taking it right here. Uh, I don't know. I feel like he's going to scout that. And if he just sends a SCV over there and builds a bunker. um, I don't think you're going to be able to save that base unfortunately. Going into an academy after this. Jeez. Both players on their barcode accounts. But Leda... I mean, this is dirty, guys. This is very dirty game already. We're going right into a lair, of course. The sunken colony does not cover the whole main. That's why we've got these lings over here. We have to prevent this from coming in. Because if the marines go up and around the top here, they can kill the spawning pool and the gas. Plus, harass the the uh, SC or the, the drones here. Uh, you can only mine off of like maybe these patches right here if he gets in. So it's really bad if he gets in here. And he's just continuing to build marines. He's going to get medics out eventually too. He's going to get stim. Things are going to get really, really hectic here in a minute. Uh, if Jadong doesn't, I don't know, do something. Maybe build another sunk in here possibly. Maybe get two sunkins. I don't know. Two medics coming up. And you've got Stim coming here. I mean, you can break two sunken colonies at that point. So, I don't know. We need something. But Spire with three Mutas popping out. I don't think that's going to be the ticket here, guys. I don't think that's going to uh, win the battle here. Hmm, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Jadong doing the best that he can right now. It is a sticky situation. Uh, so he is trying to find the best route forward. And it's going to be a three mutas popping here in just a second. But it's going to be too late. Oh man, a creep colony comes down. It is way too late. Ling's jumping on top of everything. But they just disappear. Wow. So quickly do those, those just disappear there. And the drones 
think about fighting or something? I don't know. Drones are going to make a run for it, I guess. Uh, probably better to make a run for it or to pull the drones while they're fighting the sunken colony, I think. That might have been a little bit of a better plan, but yeah, this is not going to work out for him. He's got some lings across the map, looks like. Managed to get over here. There's only six SCVs left. I guess the lings were sent from this base over here. And he makes three mutas. Oh, oh boy. This is going to get weird, guys. This is going to get real weird. Wow, all the mutas almost died. Oh, no. The mutas are so low. I guess the marines are right on top of them. But three mutas did manage to just barely get out. These lings are going to be able to jump on top of the marines. The marines are going to die. And he can target down the SCVs with these mutas. Got to be careful not to lose the mutas, though. Ooh, it's going to lose one. Does manage to keep the other two alive, though. And he will be able to pick that off. He gets the SCV as well. Oh, my goodness. Guys, this is ridiculous. We've got one su sunken up here, but is that going to be enough? I think we've got enough Marine Medic to just run up that ramp and kill that sunken. I think that he's done it. Leda has done it here. Both of the barracks are lifted off. And he sees the sunken now. He's going to come up this direction. It'll all come down to this last battle here, guys. It is a ridiculous game, but it all comes down to this. Sunken Colony's got to be targeted perfectly. He gets one kill. He's going to get a second. Go for a third kill. He does get that as well. There's no energy on these medics. They can't heal up, but the Sunken goes down, and GG is called. Wow, I actually missed quite a few things in that match. I'm sorry, guys. That is kind of a wacky situation rarely ever see a match quite like that but some weird stuff did happen i'll try to picture and picture everything i missed guys the mute is popping out the lings coming from this base i never even thought of this as an option if i'm being totally honest and you know what if there was two sunkens here jadong might have actually lived guys that how crazy is that he might have actually won this game uh, after everything that happened had he, for example, right, he had the, the base here. There was that attack that came in. If he had, at that moment, pulled the drones. Let's go back for a second. Let's, let's just go back for a quick second here and uh, see that moment where um, Leda decided to bust in. Let's see it right here. So, right here, we've got the one sunken. We've got the, what is this, eight lings? eight links to fight if he had pulled all the drones right as the marines were stimmed up and running in maybe he could have held this or maybe he could have just ran like what if he pulled all the drones to this patch and right as the sunk right as the marines came in he just sent them all over here maybe he could have lived like right now if he had just made a a dash for it of course the marines are gonna target the lings and the sunken and maybe the drones make it out of there alive i guess jadong thought that he could potentially save this by just fighting with the links but that is way too much dps i'm just imagining right now if the drones were out here helping things out just a little bit how different this could have looked Really unfortunate he didn't build a second sunken colony here. He's saving up that money for the Mutas. And yeah, he ends up losing that. And he pulls the drones after the sunken's even been killed. So, of course, a lot of those drones ended up going down. And with all the drones falling there, uh, just going down to two drones only, he really wasn't able to afford those uh, sunken colonies if he'd gotten like i said two sunken colonies here just imagine how hard that would have been to break with what Leda had things would have gotten really messy and weird at that point so guys that is game number one we're gonna jump into game number two between Leda and jadong i bet it's gonna be just as explosive here as game number one this video has been sponsored by Neon Marble Rust. It's an indie RTS that's being developed by a fan of Brood War. This is an early access free to play game, so it's not quite a finished product yet, but the developers are hoping for more RTS players to join the group. 
But the basic parameters have already been set. There's three races, Neon, Marvel, and Rust, which you control, gather resources, make armies, pretty similar to StarCraft, but more of a cyberpunk, maybe Tron type feel. In the coming weeks, we're going to be trying out the game, playing a bit of it on stream as well. There's a link in the description down below where you can get the game on Steam. The creators of the game are very passionate and they want to create the best possible RTS. So they'd love to have some more seasoned RTS players try the game out, give them some feedback. I'd really appreciate it as well. Go down into the description. Again, click my link. Every one of you who downloads the game supports me directly. So I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you to Neon Marble Rust for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the action. Okay, hopping into game number two here. Got Jadong in the top right hand corner. Leda in the bottom right on Citadel. An interesting map. I kind of enjoy this map and by the way, I've been playing a lot of ladder here recently. We made it to 1800. Uh, once again, I've been there before, of course, but we were kind of dipping down and working out some kinks in our game. And we're kind of coming back into a previous uh, ranking. Hopefully we will be uh, surpassing that, getting back up to, you know, 1900. I'd like to break the 2000 threshold. I've been there I've, been, I've made it to 2000 before, but that was mostly off the back of ZVZ and uh, you know how fickle those can be. But uh, recently, today, my wrist was really hurting on stream. I don't know what happened. Some sort of like uh, sudden kind of spiking pain in my wrist. It actually felt more like acid in my wrist. I have no idea what that was about, but I've taken a bunch of time today to just like stretch it out as much as possible. I do do daily stretches and wrist uh, strengthening work but uh i don't know just a bit sore it's it's the the problem with brood war man it is very difficult and uh very taxing on your body you know so many players over the years have been put out from wrist injuries most recently larva is out with a wrist injury so i've got to be very careful about that and i've got to be very wary of that and uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna keep going but we're gonna be careful while doing so and Continue to slowly improve. Not going to push ourselves too, too hard here. And uh, with that, look at that. Jadong going to throw down a spawning pool this time. He recognizes that barcode ID, the ANSTLSKT. He's like, hey, didn't you eight racks me last time? Maybe I'm going to go for an earlier pool this time, like an over pool, something like that. And it is indeed like an over pool here. You can see that second overload popped out. So indeed, it is an overpool. And he will be getting the gas. And of course, the hatcher. It's not the greatest build in the world, honestly. It's kind of actually... It, honestly, it's kind of a crap build. Um, And yeah, it does give you a little bit of space in the early game. You don't have to worry about an 8 racks just killing you outright because you got four lings out. But you can't drone scout with it because that just takes up way too much of your economy and your economy is pretty bad honestly it's not a good economy you, you don't have a lot of options i don't think you can really go for like a lurker play here you can't really go for uh you know 2.5 hatch from this it's pretty much mutilisk all in or some sort of very skimpy uh transition into lurker and you're gonna go for third base it's, it's also possible to maybe go for something like a guardian play or uh, something along those lines but Leda's actually gonna go two racks here uh he forced out there it's actually the strongest play i think against what ha uh, has been put down here from jadong this is probably this this is probably the strongest play is just to go straight up two racks pressure uh, you've already got kind of a crap economy. You're going to have to throw down sunken colonies to hold, most likely. Unless you you know, you know do some fancy stuff with Lings uh, and just kind of hold them back just a little bit so that you can get your mutas out in time. It's just not going to be very comfortable for you. And Leda's correctly identified this. He's gone for a very tight build here with the very quick command center after one racks of one racks fe with two supply depots 
to create that really beautiful wall that's almost impossible to break uh, with just pure lings. So this is a great spot for Leda. I don't rate his uh, two racks play very high, but in this situation, I mean, he, can't, he can hardly go wrong. It looks like we're building a lot of lings here. Now, this is one thing you can do in this situation, but it is super gamble. It is a super gamble. I think that Jadong is uh, identifying that, okay, this is exactly what uh, Leda wants to do. He wants to come across with the two racks, punish me severely. It's going to be really, really bad. So we're going to take a big gamble and build a ton of lings and hope that he moves out at that timing that I'm expecting. And if he does, we can crush this and he is going to move out. So this is this is Leda not catching the drift. Beautiful surround here. Absolutely perfect. This is going to crush this play from Leda. And actually, one medic is going to kind of ruin things here with the fire bat. Oh, he just leaves. Ah, man, later, really? You're just gonna leave there, eh? Um, I guess so. The depots were gonna go down almost 100%. He got three SCVs on the depot, but... Yeah, it was gonna be nasty. That's a really good idea, actually, by Jadong. Really good heads-up play here. This was a big gamble, like I said. But he read later like a book here. He read him like a book. He said... You're not, uh, you're not gonna go for anything weird. You saw that I went nine, or my, I went over pool, and it didn't get any damage, so you're definitely gonna move out with the two racks and try to pressure me. And if I try to play out a macro game, I'm gonna have to make sunkins. It's gonna be a mess. But if I make a bunch of lings, then maybe if you move out, I can crush that, and then we can have a good game from there. I can I can maybe snowball that into a win with the Mutas coming across. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a terrible economy right now for Jadong. Terrible. He's got nothing here. He's got almost no drones, man. His drone... Like, he doesn't even have the full uh, saturation of drones in his main. He's even missing one patch here, so... This economy is god-awful. Had Leda just sat here, right here, and just waited, just waited, he would have won this game 100%. It is so easy to win the game from this point. I don't think he even built... Did he build a uh, commsat? Let's see if he even built a commsat. Okay, he was building one right now. As he was moving out, he was building his commsat, and he was skimping. He was skimping. He only built one commsat. Oh, it's so greedy here. Later, 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 later. You really greeted for just one commsat as well? Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is craziness. Absolute insanity that he just did that. Um, Yeah, that is wild. And he's moving out at a very early timing here, too. You're not even five minutes in. You're already moving. It's like five minute 30 when it's supposed to get there. But yeah, this is this is wild to me. Um, had he just scanned, like if he scanned here. Or if he had double scan, right? If he had, if he had gone for the two scan and he just scans here and then he scans here and he looks at this <laughs> patches and like, whoa. Yo, we're not moving anywhere. You just sit right here, build turrets, and you win 100% of the time. So this is a big mistake from Leda. Getting too aggressive, kind of over or misjudging his position, overestimating the power of the two racks here, and underestimating Jadong in his cleverness in this matchup. Jadong getting a nice quick win here over Leda. That's got to feel good after losing to the eight racks, but we've got another game here. Let's jump in to game number three. Okay, back to retro for game number three. It did not roll off the tongue there. We've got Jadong in the top right-hand corner. Once again, Leda here in the bottom left. What is he going to bring out this time? Let's see if we can get blue. There we go. Blue Terran. Better than brown, that's for sure. <laughs> and always the red Zerg. Crowd favorite. That's for sure. 
Overlord slowly drifting here over towards the top left. It was interesting where these Zerg players put their Overlord. Sometimes a little bit lost uh, on a few of these maps as to where exactly they should go to get maximum information and be as safe as possible. Especially versus Terran, it can be a bit of a pain. Now, I can already see that we're going to have some sort of Wraith game here. And that is definitely a good thing because... <laughs> I was expecting three Wraiths games here out of uh, Leda, but we've, we haven't even gotten one yet. But with the Supply Depot on the high ground here, I mean, for sure it's going to be some sort of Wraith player, right? Now, for someone like Leda, I feel like having a barcode is kind of OP. It's kind of overpowered, right? To have a barcode... Um, if you're going to play like this man does. Because if they know that you are in fact Leda, you're the guy who does Wraith play, they can prepare for that pretty solidly. And just kind of know that that's coming. Um, but here, Jadong has no idea that this is Leda. And he's actually gone. He just knows that the guy that ate Rax is me. Uh, and I killed with Ling last game. So he's gone for another overpool here. And he's got the same exact build as the last game. And I can tell you, uh, this is just not feel very good. It's not a nice situation. And it's going to be made much, much worse here. By the fact that there is already a wall. With that wall at the top of the ramp, this is a nightmare now for Jadong. He built six Lings. He delayed his economy. He's delayed his gas. Looks like he's going to go for a third hatchery here. Something like that, I guess. Got 300 minerals in the bank, and we're not doing anything with it right now. So I imagine it's going to be a third hatch. But he sees that high ground with the double supply depot. And it's going to be a little tough to get a sunken out here in time, actually. We're already at 3 minutes and 20 seconds. He doesn't even have a sunken here. I guess he's just barely going to be able to throw it down in time, right? Three minutes and 29. Three minutes, 30. I think he can wait till about three minutes, 40 before he throws it down and still be okay, probably. Um, goes directly for a third base. So he went straight up into three base. Where's the sunken? It's 40, uh, three minute 40 now. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. He's going to come out and try to kill the Ling so he can hide the fact that there's a Vulture coming. But, of course, that is just a given. Um, what is he doing? He's looking around his main, checking for some sort of proxy right now. But that's not what's coming at all. There's a Vulture on the way, and there's the Sunken. Wow, he waited until 4.05 to throw this down. Is it going to be done in time? I had no idea. Is he actually going to finish this in time? I guess so. I guess this actually just finishes in time. Maybe just barely. It was my understanding that you always throw down the sunken at 3.30 to finish it in time for the vulture to run in. But yeah, that seemed a little bit late. Now, look at this. He's going to be able to pick off these two uh, marines and the SCV as well, it looks like. Okay, now the marines do back up and the vulture's gonna come around. He went mines. He went mines already. That is crazy to me that we already have mines done. Now he gets rid of the marine, which takes away a lot of DPS from anything trying to kill this hatchery. But he can kill the larva regardless. We're gonna go into Hydra maybe? Okay, lings are on the way. The uh, mines are going to be a real problem. He's going to keep laying down mines here, I think. And he's sending out a drop. The drop is going to be for the main base. He's going to try and drop some vultures into the main. Lings are running out here. Are they going to spot this drop coming in? I think he might have just seen that. Maybe he just saw the tail end of that. Oops. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, though. Hydras are coming out. He's bringing forward the overlords to try and clear this, but is he? I think he's going to get caught. I think he's going to get caught here with his pants down and his hydras on the map. Ooh, this is bad, guys. This is really bad. 
The drop is going to come in here. And this is going to get nasty very, very quick. Vultures are going to go to work on the drones. Drones are being pulled to the natural, but three have already fallen. Looks like he won't get any more just for now. Hydras are going to look for... Oh, kills off all the larva, of course. Uh, this is just horrible right now for Jadong. Sitting on 16 workers while the Terran is doing whatever he's doing on his side of the map. I don't know what it is. I guess we've got a starport. He's going to pick up. Oh, a drone was hiding. A couple of drones, in fact, were hiding. Oh, he takes a bunch of damage from a mine as well. Goodness, this is bad. This is really, really painful right now. He's going to try and run up here. Hopefully, he can block. Oh, God. That was kind of close, actually. Looked like he wasn't going to be able to block that. Going to come back in with the drops. But great play there, picking that off with the uh, Scourge. Very, very nice play from him. Can he get this? Get it, get it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. There we go. He gets it. Comes in, gets a kill on one drone. So another drone falling. After all the drones that have fallen so far this game, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Even one more drone is super, super painful right now. He's gone for Lair... Uh, into Spire with the Hydralis Den as well. So he's gone in a lot of different directions. He spent a lot of drones on buildings as well. That's something you have to take into account. And he's lost a lot of drones. But the one saving grace right now is he's got three bases. Three bases are up and running right now. He has Mutilus on the way. He can get into three gas eventually. And that means he can pump out a lot of Mutas. And back at home... We're just seeing Goliaths. Now, I'm actually pretty disappointed, to be honest, that we don't get to see any Wraith play out of Leda, of all people. Three games versus Jadong, and he doesn't play any Wraith. What the heck is going on? Is this man... He's a changed man, guys. He's seen the error of his ways. He realized that playing the filthy, filthy Terran style of a Wraith is just not going to work for him anymore. No, I'm kidding. He's definitely going to still uh, occasionally, but um, he's found another even more dirty, down and dirty style here. The Vulture into Drop is really rough. <laughs> it hurts, dude. It's so painful. It's happened to me quite a few times on ladder. We constantly run into people like this. These terrible, terrible people. I think that this is the the correct way to play Terran, uh, who abuse the race so broken this uh, this style, but it's very hard to catch on to. It's very hard to counter properly, and I don't think Jadong's done a particularly great job of countering this game. We'll see if he can still hold on uh, with all the damage that's gone down. I doubt it. I highly doubt it, but he's got one sunken colony that's going to come up here. He's got a couple of Hydras maybe coming. He's going to be able to... No, he loses both of the Hydras here uh, to that one single mine. That is so painful. More uh, uh, Mutas are going to come up. And the uh, uh, v Vultures actually got killed there by the drones. So, I mean, he holds for now. He's got armor on the way. But we've got plus one, plus one coming up. And we've gone into a science facility. Holy crap. This is going to get really bad, guys. This is going to get really bad because we have only Mutas to fight this. And there's going to be Irradiate coming out really, really soon. We're going into five factory play. The three fact, really a strong way to play. But going up into five fact after that, after getting the double upgrades rolling, he can just do whatever he wants, right? He did so much damage, he can do all of this and attack you at the same time. He can... Get double upgrades, get into a science facility, um, you know, make dropships and vultures and all that good stuff, and attack you with Goliaths at a good timing. It's kind of crazy what you can do with Terran uh, when you get a little bit of a lead like this um, off of a vulture run by. And look at this, he's going to run by one more time, getting three, four more kills here. Eventually, this will be cleaned up, but four more kills is really all he needs. It's more than enough, really, truly. Um, looks like that's going to be shut down finally, but that's just enough of a slowdown here to where this push is going to be pretty much unstoppable, I feel. We've got the vessel out. 
Irradiate's about to be done. I think that we're going to see Jadong fly in here, get irradiated, and just leave the game. <laughs> it's pretty... At that point, it's so painful because you have nothing. You've got nothing here except for these mutas. These mutas are all that he has right now. He's 20 supply behind. He's looking for something he can do up here. Something he can pick off. Maybe get a couple of... Yeah, there it is. There's the irradiate. He tries to pull... Okay, that was pretty okay. He pulled that out pretty well. Look at all the mutas are still quite high on that HP. So, you know, that wasn't terrible. And he's not going to leave the game right after he gets irradiated. Uh, I would have probably left, but that's me. I'm um a little bit weak when it comes to this matchup and losing so many drones in the early game is definitely going to turn me off uh, of playing any further. But look at this. He's actually getting his hydras out in good enough numbers to where maybe somehow he could fight. I guess having the third base online as quick as he did really is going to be the saving grace in this game. And we might see a miracle comeback here, guys. I don't know. Leda's not the greatest player in the world. It's not like he, he's so solidly or so super solid macro uh, in regards to his macro that he, you know, can't possibly de be defeated. It's not like, you know, we're talking about like a light or a sharp or you know a rush or something like that where if he gets that early damage he's already ahead he's just definitely gonna barrel you over here maybe later you know throws the game a little bit maybe he uh falls apart as things start to ramp up we'll see maybe jadon can pull something out here a couple of uh run buying vultures gonna try and get in here again he gets another kill super annoying hope he puts that back on puts one back on gas i don't see it Ooh, that could really bite him in the butt a little bit later. But you know what? It's okay for now. Another Queen's Nest? I thought we already had one. Didn't we already have a Queen's Nest? Did he cancel it? I think he canceled that Queen's Nest. Oh, that's a little bit unfortunate. But Hydras are going to come forward now. Tanks are ready to fight them back. A third base should be in the works here pretty darn soon. Uh, for Leda. Leda with a very nice little setup here. Goliath's already prepared to push back these mutas. Mutas are going to try to come in, try to target down the tanks, looks like. But, oh, man, the D-Matrix is so brutal. Oh, oh, my poor Hydras. My poor, poor Hydras. I'm just so relating right now to, to this game state from, from Jadong right now. It is brutal. Absolutely brutal. We've got three irradiates on these three or a d matrix that's fine too yeah gg he calls it jadon taps out i honestly would have left a little bit earlier but i guess he wanted to try it yeah maybe if he runs in snipes three tanks or something with his mutas and then comes in with the hydras he can get something done but look at these these upgrades are insanity the upgrades are so good right now we're making queens so eventually we're gonna try to get into uh one of those long macro games with queens everywhere and broodling and all that stuff but the deficit was just too much to handle you have to start taking bases like this as jadong you know setting up sunken colonies on high grounds you know get this base get sunken colonies up here uh get this base get sunken colonies here maybe get this base up here even get sunken colonies over here uh, you know, get a bunch of queens out, get really stacked on that energy, prepare for that late game, hope you don't get EMP'd, or try to dodge the EMPs that come out, and take it into a very long, annoying game, because the Terran player will not leave, I would say, for about 30 minutes. You're looking at, like, a at least 15 more minutes of gameplay with this third base coming online. The Terran player can just gut it out. And fight you all over the map. They're going to have multiple big armies and big pushes attacking you several times. And probably with 3-2. Three, uh, three, yeah, 3-2 is on the way. So once 3-2 is done and they just start pushing out on the map, it's going to be so hard to hold on. And even if you hold on uh, and deny them for more bases, you have to do that multiple times before the game can uh, come to a conclusion. So... Uh, and the, the Terran player, by that I mean the Terran player mining out 
and you know being forced out of the game so it's just such a hard slog i feel bad for jadong in this game let me know your comments uh, in the comment section down below guys thank you so much for watching make sure to like the video as well guys if you've watched at this point you are a big fan and i appreciate the heck out of you i'll see you in the next video